Hey everybody, this is Dream, and this is going to be the uh, Xfinity race at Talladega Speedway, this Super Speedway rather. Uh, this is going to be a crazy race. You kind of expect a lot of crashes on this particular track in this race, and so getting a lot of value is definitely going to be easy to do here. Uh, what's actually going to be kind of hard is picking and choosing which high price uh, drivers you want to utilize. Uh, but with that said, I've gone through all the drivers. I found the guys that have the best upside on this particular track. Uh, obviously, we have their starting positions too, so that really helps. And without further ado, let's get in, get into it. Obviously, in DraftKings, when you uh, when from a scoring perspective, it's good to get guys that are farther back in the race because if they move up, then that gives them uh, bonus points. Obviously, winning gives you bonus points as well. I expect that some driver from the back is probably going to have some good finishes. So uh, I definitely have uh, got quite a few drivers that you could take a look at from that perspective. But overall, let's get into the drivers themselves. So my first option here is uh, Josh Berry. Now, Josh Berry has got a really good track truck here, or truck car here, but uh, he is starting 7th, which is not the most ideal situation. But he has finished all three of his races here, so I really think that he's got a good chance to actually finish this race. Uh, same with Noah Gregson. Uh, he has actually been extremely good here, surprisingly. Even though he wrecks out a lot of places, he has had four straight wins in the Xfinity series, and he is starting sixth, but he's had 11 top, uh, or he's had, uh, seven races here, and in six of those, he's had a top 11 finish, including a win, and so I really like him as a potential winner here. Now, obviously, this is a risk race that is really risky to, you know, get wrecked in, but he's still a good option regardless. AJ Allmendinger is another guy I like here at $9,500. Um, he's very been robust, but he's had three top 10s in the last five races here. Obviously, he's starting eighth, uh, but he has got a good car, and he can do it if he doesn't get wrecked. Um, and then uh, Riley Herbst, uh, who's starting in 23rd, his starting position just gives him a ton of upside here, and he's got a good enough car that he'll have a potential chance for a top 10 finish. Uh, those are the four drivers, I think, that are great above the uh, uh, 8,333 line. Uh, honestly, there's not a ton available that's super safe here, especially considering most of the starting positions and stuff like that. Uh, but let's get into the drivers below this line. Um, the first one is Myatt Snyder. Uh, his starting position here gives him some upside, but he does have some risk because he has wrecked out of this race a few times. But his car is really good, so it's just a matter of him getting the right situation. You know, st surviving to the end of the race. Uh, Ryan Sieg, he has had four straight top 11 finishes at this track. And he's never actually crashed out in 11 races. His starting position of 14th is not ideal, but he's still somebody to take a look at simply because he's been successful at actually completing this race. And that is going to be an issue for several of the drivers here. Uh, Jeffrey Earnhardt is a guy that I really do like here. He's been pretty solid at this track in the past. And his car has actually got 15 point upside. And he's usually pretty good at staying uh, out of trouble early and then like trying to make it through at, late in the race. And if he can do that again here, he'll get himself another top 10 or top 15 finish. Uh, uh, Jeremy Clements, he's a guy that he's starting 37th, which is just awesome for this particular track and race. He usually has, uh, he's done really good at actually finishing the races here at Talladega. And so I look for him to have an opportunity to have another top 10, top 5 finish at this particular track. And if he does get a top 10 or something, starting 37th really definitely helps uh, boost his points. Uh, and then uh, Brandon Brown, he's actually won this race in the past. And uh, in five of the six races here, he's been in the top 15. Um, three of those being top 10s and one win. Um, he had one accident in the very first race, but overall this is a really good track for him. And uh, he's starting 17th, which isn't super ideal, but it's not bad either. Uh, I like him pretty good on this in this race. Uh, Anthony Alfredo, uh, he's starting uh, 20th. Uh, and he's been pretty good in this track. Uh, three top 12s in the three races he's been here, including two top 10s. And I think his price and his starting position is good enough that it's going to be useful here. I really do think that these uh, these uh, uh, our motorsports cars are looking pretty good at this track. So uh, Jeff Burton is a guy, or sorry, Jeb Burton. He's had five races here, and all five of those he's been a top 15 or sorry, top 17, including a win. So he's definitely a guy that's capable of doing it again here. Uh, obviously, his starting position is 16th. Uh, Timmy Hill. Uh, I've got one, two, before I say Timmy Hill, i got one more guy to mention. Uh, Joey Gase. 
Um, his car uh, actually looks pretty good here. He has a top 15 car, but his position does cap him. He's starting 25th. Uh, obviously, if he started a little bit farther back, I'd like that more. But uh, he's, you know, he's starting right around the same part spot that Jeffrey Earnhardt is. If I had to pick between the two of them, I would pick Jeffrey. But uh, they're both viable. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six cars that are all capable of going from the back to the front and have history of being able to do, you know, when I say to the front, like, you know, move up 15 to 20 spots and get some nice big bonus points. Uh, Timmy Hill, Josh Williams, uh, Blaine Perkins, uh, BJ McLeod, and Mike Harmon. Actually, Blaine Perkins should not be listed here because he's starting 15th. I'm sorry about that. So, yeah, Timmy Hill, Josh Williams, uh, JJ Ely, uh, BJ McLeod, and Mike Harmon. They all start uh, outside the top 30, uh, and those guys are all going to be guys that you could, you know, load up as cheap options that could potentially get a top 5, top 10 finish, depending on how many wrecks and stuff there are in this track. So, with that said, I think you got some very good options here. I think this is going to be a good race. There's going to be a lot of crashes, a lot of guys not finish the race. And so you just got to pick around and make sure you fi find guys that are s typically good and successful at this track and surviving to the end because that's when you can win the race. Uh, and that's pretty much I have for this slate. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, have a nice day, guys.